Prince Waipoa is tourism with a difference. Their tours take visitors into the iconic Waipoa forest to get up close and personal with such famous locals as Tane Mahuta. What's so special about this environment? Tāne Mahuta. Because it's special, because it's unique, because it's a very spiritual environment. It's only found in the Waipo forest, and people we believe should see it and experience the environment. The Waipoa Forest is special because it's the largest remaining stand of kauri in New Zealand. Of course, the specimens that stand amongst this wonderful and unique ecosystem can only be found in the Waipoa Forest in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Tell me, I will forget. Show me, I will remember. But involve me and I will understand. Our walks are not just about the ecosystem. It's not, our walks are not just about Waipo Forest and learning about what's inside the forest, but it's also you know, an opportunity for us to promote our culture, to fulfil a complete experience. Because this is you know, not just a unique ecosystem, but it's a very significant environment that our ancestors utilised how many years ago. I think that it's all about stories and knowledge. Knowledge is power and stories are an opportunity to be able to connect with what is a, a very unique and special environment. <laughs> so in the beginning there was darkness and our parents of creation, Papa Tuanuku Mother Earth and Ranginui Sky Father, they were cuddled together in this internal embrace. And within that embrace were their many children, our gods, who, sick and tired of living in that world of darkness, decided that they would try to separate their parents. They tried, failed except one, Tane Mahuta, the god of the forest. And with the shoulders pressed against his mother, he used the strong, thick legs to force his father skywards. And ignoring their cries, he continued until light entered into that world of darkness and created growth and from that growth we believe came life. But if you were to ask me what is the most greatest thing in this world, then I should answer. It's us. It's us as people. It's us as people we need to understand how important environments like these are to each and every one of us. Without the little things, there would be no big things. Without the little and the big, there would be no life, and we wouldn't be here this evening looking at the father of the forest. Ahakua he iti he paunamu. It truly is a humbling experience to be sitting here in the presence of Te Matua Ngahere at the grand old age of 4,000 years. And visiting the Waipoa forest really is like taking a trip back in time and rediscovering the magical wonderland that New Zealand once was. He tangata he tangata he.